Cameron Bryan. Uh, I'm the driver of the the Crone. This is my brother Stuart. Uh, we're contractors here in near Fermoy in County Cork. Our dad started off. Uh, how long was he out? He started in 19, ooh, 1960s, I'd say. Uh, small operation, single chop side chop, sir. John Deere tractor, and he worked up from there. We took over in, I suppose, 1990 and we kind of built it up to what we have today. Well, I suppose we concentrate on the grass. If we could cut grass 12 months a year, we would. Slurry. Yeah, the umbilical system is our big thing. Uh, we started probably at the end of the year, into the fall. We'd, we'd be starting there in October, November, and we, we'd finish up then uh, late November, and start on again mid-January, and we continue on spreading soil till late March, April. And then we constantly with ploughing, receding, maize yes. setting, and we're back into silage then, and at the end of the year then, we're going to maize forage. That's basically it really, all year round, trying to keep ourselves busy. I suppose there's, there's two reasons why uh, we went crowing. Um, the previous weaning machine we had, um, kind of wasn't up for it really. We felt that the crone was a more modern machine. Look at the style of it like, you know, it's way more stylish looking. It kind of goes to the times. The big M did us no harm. I think the last machine, that, that brand is, I think, is our, on the back foot. They're just, well, it wasn't for us anyway. Let's put it that way. They're outdated machines. Yeah, and they, we, we wanted uh, a bit of better backup service. And we knew that Jim Power was a, a good lad, so he was good to look after us. So we knew we had to, his backing up, a good backup there, a good service. And he's local, yeah. he's only down the road. Yeah. So we can knock at his door any hour of the night. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. Sunday's renting. No you know. We all know about the six row, the feed rollers. We all know about that. We, we're, we're blue, everyone knows about them. When you move the flap there, right? The lights move with the flap. The other machines don't have that. So That's... if you're filling a trail at night time and your, 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 your shoe is there, you want the light to be there as well. Or if your shoe's up there, you want it up there. Simple things like that. Small things, it's in it. You press a button, the shoe parks at home. Yeah. Stuff like that. To be fair, what machine has a back axis suspension in a harvester? There's none of them, isn't there? What I, what I like about it is stones. You know, farmers don't roll the ground anymore, so there's going to be stones in the grass, and we don't seem to get any bother. It's just yeah. very good with them kind of things. We were cutting silage one day with that, and you were picking up nothing but stones, and mm. you says to me, we need to go home. I said, we're in trouble here, lads. We're in trouble here with stones. Like, you know, our, no, our knives are in bits. We went home. We actually, for, we got to open out the front of the machine because we didn't know how to do it. Yeah. And uh, the knives are perfect, perfect. And after that, that told us that we had the right machine, wasn't it? Yeah, downtime is a big factor here in this case. Too tight, you see, you can't be stopped. We're never stopped at that joke. No, no. Never stopped. No, no. I find this machine way more superior when it comes to lumps. A lot of customers down here they want us to rake or toss out the silage and it creates a lot of lumps and uh, that machine can handle lumps no problem at all. Uh, I don't think that there's any other machine in the market that can handle lumps as good as that machine there. Loads of power, loads of power, but what makes it is actually is the very stream that's in that machine there. And when a lump goes in, all the plates can spring in and out. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're held in with springs, and so they can allow for the lump to go in and up the chute comfortably. It's kind of like a built-in in the computer system of it that it, it won't allow itself to block. Uh, if, if, we, if a load comes on it, the machine dies down, dies down, the, the pickup will actually stop itself and protect itself from choking. It's a great job. They're for good value for money. Either the, I don't know, are the crone value for money? Are the rest of them over expensive? I don't know. Probably the rest of them are too dear. Yeah, the rest, the rest of them are too, too dear. dear. Yeah. This is value for money here. But the main advantage to this machine is fuel consumption. We run this machine here now and we're picking up 50 foot swarts and we're burning four and a half litres an acre. Uh, its nearest competitor, which would be the other colour, we, can't, we won't mention any names, is up to seven litres, which I'm told by a good friend of mine. And uh, that's massive. Like that's two and a half litres an acre straight away. And if you're, let's say, 4,000 acres, let's talk simple figures here, 4,000 acres, you're saving two and a half litres an acre, that's 10,000 litres, and let's say you're buying your diesel at 60 cent, that's 6,000 euros. 6,000 euros savings in a year, 
Happy days. And a cheaper machine? Do you know, it's, 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 it's easy, Matt.